He's a couple steps left, couple steps right, <laughs> couple hops left, couple hops right, spike the football, and the icky shuffle's born. How cool was it last Sunday to see Joe Burrow walk into the Superdome wearing Jamar Chase's LSU National Championship jersey? It obviously inspired my wardrobe choice today, a tribute to Dave Lapham. Thank you, it sir. It also inspired our topic for the Who Day conversation this week, three great off-the-field moments in Bengals history. Lap, you're up first. I'm going to go to the 1988 Super Bowl 23 season. A guy named Albert Woods, otherwise known as Icky, and he met with teammates in the locker room. I got to come up with a celebration, you know, after I score a touchdown. And he's a couple steps left, a couple steps right, a couple hops left, a couple hops right, spike the football, and the icky shuffle's born. And he starts celebrating after every touchdown. They went 8 0 at home. The fans couldn't wait for him to score a touchdown so they could do the icky shuffle. But the ultimate validation happened at a presser at the Super Bowl where Paul Brown gave that icky shuffle up there at the podium and everybody thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And when you had basically the founder of the organization validating the icky shuffle as a celebration that's worthy, it took off. All right, Butch, you're up next. I'm gonna go on the way back machine. August, 1998, steamy hot, Canton, Ohio. <laughs> Hall of Fame induction, Anthony Munoz. Talking about the people who helped get him there to this moment. But the biggest moment, was when uh, he asked his offensive line to stand in steamy Canton, Ohio, but it gave me a freezable chill. <laughs> All right, well, let's go from that hot day to a cold day in December of 1989. After some fans threw snowballs on the field, <laughs> Sam Weich asked for the PA microphone from Tom Kinder and delivered this very famous speech. Well, the next person that sees anybody throw anything onto this field, point them out, and get them out of here. You don't live in Cleveland, you live in Cincinnati. A legendary dig at a rival, but it's worth <laughs> noting that one year later, Sam Weich got in a dunking booth in Cleveland to raise money for charity. Yes. Three great off-the-field moments in Bengals history and the subject of this Who Day Conversation.